Hi, this is Alicia from the Next 72 Hours team. Welcome to our video on how to manage Australian snake bites. Follow your basic first aid principles. First and foremost, safety. Remove yourself and your patient from danger. Assess your patient's response. Send for help by calling triple zero immediately or it would be 112 from a cell phone. If your patient is not breathing, begin resuscitation measures. Clear your patient's mouth and start CPR. Keep calm. Get your patient comfortable. You'll need to sit him down, keeping the bite site below heart level. You want to minimize all movement because this will slow down the spread of venom. You'll need to apply a pressure bandage as soon as possible. Remove any jewelry or clothing on the affected limb. Open your snake bite kit and mark a circle around the bite site with the permanent marker. Do not clean the area. You need to retain every trace of venom for identification purposes. Lay a gauze square over it. Fold that gauze square in half twice to apply firm direct pressure. You'll want to start to wrap bandage one over that gauze square firmly and evenly a few times. This will anchor the bandage. Bandage about as firmly as you would for a sprained ankle. Not so tight that it stops the blood flow to the limb or congests the veins. Keep wrapping the bandage around the limb moving up from the bite site overlapping half the width of the bandage at each turn. Apply bandage to starting just above the toes and move upwards on the limb as far as can be reached, making sure to include the bite site. If you cannot reach the bite site with bandage 2, continue up the limb with bandage 3 as far as it will go. Check your patient's toes. Your bandage is not too tight if capillary refill occurs in less than 2 seconds. Don't forget to mark the bite site on the outer bandage. It's also a good idea to write the time the bandage was applied. Now splint the limb with whatever you have on hand. I've used a small straight branch snapped to a suitable length and I've used the third bandage in the snake bite kit. You could also use the triangular bandage or strips of torn clothing anything to further immobilize the limb. You want to prevent any joint, muscle or limb movement. Where at all possible, stay with your patient and regularly record observations on the notes card provided. Count his heart rate and breaths per minute and tick the relevant boxes to monitor the circulation on his toes. It's a good idea to record the observations every 20 minutes or so. Note any bleeding, pain, drowsiness or breathing difficulties. Bring transport to the patient if possible or if a greater than two hour delay is expected, try to carry the patient on a stretcher to the nearest transport for medical help. If there really is no alternative in raising help, go for help after bandaging and checking the patient is breathing. We have included a whistle in this kit to help you raise the alarm. <laughs> 